The story of Elise Damore, in my vision, is a summer love story on a beach. The first thing that we tried to discover in this piece was to find uh, a way to bring out the humanity of the characters. So all the story is like one full day from the morning till the night and the day over. In this beach, all the relationships between the characters, I felt, have the possibility to become quite natural and quite potential. And so starting from this point, we developed this situation uh, using all the elements that a beach can offer. I think this is the perfect mixture between buffo and lyric, very profound sounding music. Uh, it's very well balanced. I think the beautiful thing about this piece is that Adina is doing a travel through her personality, opening up to this very sensible person who is Nemorino. Lo que le mueve a este personaje es el amor absoluto y la y la, la creencia en este en este sentimiento hacia Adina. No le importa absolutamente nada más sino conseguir el, el, el amor de, de la persona amada. Es un personaje que en contra a todos los demás es muy sincero y yo creo que eso al final es lo que le llega realmente a la gente. I like Adina's character because I think um, she is really happy person because she has everything that she wants. She is beautiful. She knows that all the men loves her and especially in this production she's also rich. I think it's a Donizetti capolavoro, one of the greatest operas that he made. I'm listening this beautiful music. I'm listening this all these words and uh, and understanding them. Its character is just coming. Dulcamara apenas llega, él muestra exactamente lo que es. Un vendedor. Es un, un personaje que está de paso y que va a seguir de largo y que es como una especie de tsunami. En esta producción es un personaje que tiene su propia moralidad. No, no es ni inmoral ni amoral. Es un personaje que prescinde de todos los clichés, prescinde de todas las, las normas sociales. Y él está muy convencido de que su elixir en realidad sirve. Lógicamente no para curar todas esas enfermedades que le hace alusión, pero dar un poco de esperanza. I want the people to come to the production and to laugh, because I think this opera is written for being entertaining, for being enjoyable. And that's why we, we try to work in this way and to create this aesthetic and to create this uh, storytelling.